Hello everybody, this is David and I show you the Evit. I open Media Composer 7 and today in this tutorial I'll show you the trim mode. The trim mode is very important and it's uh, yeah, it's a very nice tool and you need it all the time. Of course, and maybe you know it from other editing programs or editing softwares, but this here in the Media Composer is a little bit different to the other products. When you go to the trim mode, you can click here on the button, come to the trim mode, and or you select it on your keyboard when you have a shortcut for that. My shortcut is the U. Click on the U. The locator always jumps to the nearest edit in the timeline. And you see now we have different modes of trim mode. Now this is so called the roll when you have this purple lines in every direction. You can change it. You can change it by clicking here. Um, as you see I click here and this is changing. Um, or you can also take your keyboard again and with this with P, U and plus in my case because of the German keyboard but you will find it on your keyboard also the left both and the right yeah so it's very easy so in this case um, I want the butterfly to fly and in this moment there should be already the flow in water so we shorten this part yeah we could just in and out and X it could do it like that but there are different ways to roam as you know so I go to the trim mode and I select now with a P this case because I want to ripple the yellow butterfly off and the flowing water in. I do it with my mouse and now you see on the left screen the butterfly. There the butterfly is leaving. And I take choose this frame where the butterfly already left and now you see there's the edit alright I undo it you can also use it with your keyboard I go back to the uh, trim mode again push P together on the left side and now I take this buttons here 10 frames left one frame left and so on and without the mouse I can select now with my keyboard the same edit oh you see 10 frames it's enough and I see already the butterfly here so I go two more frames to the right and uh, of course usually I do it with my keyboard but now to present you in a better way I do it with a mouse here in the keyboard settings and now I have the same result uh, you can also always when you are in the trim mode to view your edit you just play and you see here in this time two seconds before and two seconds after the edit will be played in this little preview what's also very interesting is to do it asynchron one on the left and two on the right and I go with the with the keys again here with this and I'll show you so it's moving in different directions and the time is changing it's getting longer this is really a great function when you have a bigger timeline with a lot of tracks and you want to move some things so it's not getting uh, off-synced 
another very important part of the um, trim mode is the so-called slip. I go to the original material and open the yellow butterfly footage and I select some part of this, go to the timeline and import it. And you see, there's the part we have already in here, this is the dupe detection. And I go in the material a bit, a bit after it. Do an edit here, an E, and I just delete this. So now we are here and we have no butterfly. But I can click and select this video track, go to the trim mode right now, the U, and now I'm in the slip mode. We have this purple lines on the end and the, on the tail and on the head of this clip. And now I take this buttons again with the M and I go backwards to find butterfly again that I saw it already and this is what I want. Now it changed this material to 36 frames as you see it here and now this material we saw already here in the front is now in this clip. Alright? So I changed this material to this spot I wanted to see. And this is really amazing, great and very useful um, when you have for example people people's view and you want to to have a check for the perfect view and just some frames on the left and on the right and it's perfect. I go back to the trim mode, the U and just move it a little bit. You could also use it when you have an asynchron um, video and audio track just to sync it if you like. Yeah, but this is really it's really your friend. The trim mode is really your friend. And I hope you you will enjoy it to use it and don't be afraid of it. Um, it's not so complex as it seems. Just try it out. I think you will love it. See you next time. Yours, David.